on realizing I am black. One, what the fuck? <laughs> Two, born American, raised Dominican, found black, found God, found home. Three, <clears throat> You kidding me, right? I mean, don't you eat rice and beans every night? I mean, when was the last time you had some mac and cheese, some collard greens, and some neck bones? You know, speaking Spanish means you're Spanish. This means you're greedy. Would you like some neck bones? Along with the vertebrae of America's hung foundation fathers, ain't that what you wanted? To call African ancestors yours too? Afro-Latino, Taino-Indian? Are those drinks you Spanish people get during happy hour? Ha! Ain't no happy hour when the hands of your clock are shackled, dragged, baton beating, bullet hole bleed out countless moments, drowning your existence in alcohol. Try to forget that you were even born to when you are murdered every 28 hours. It's just another bump from a stranger on the sidewalk. Four, in Boston, I held the elevator door for every racist that I looked better than. I reached into my blazer, they grabbed their bags tighter, my hair grows as an afro, my grandfather would tell me, stop looking like a nigger, I tell him, I'm celebrating the way God made me, my grandfather smiled in the faces of my black friends like he had a lynch mob in his back pocket, his teeth, the 13th, 14th, 15th amendment shredded into 36 different pieces of bigotry, five, my grandfather died as the moon. I am not him. I am black and full of stars. I am not the absence of light. I am who allows light to exist. I am mother. I am Africa. Do not confuse me for hip hop and rap. Those are my fraternal twin grandchildren who always asking for money. You remember Biggie. Pop, pun, you see stars died and have come home to me. I am not ugly. I am who allows you to be beautiful now. Isn't that the blackest thing you've ever heard? God say. Yeah!